Welcome to the weekly vlog! Guys, my lips are a little bit better today. I smelled them in pore pore again. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to the gym first because it's 8 a.m. and I need to go before like 9. Otherwise, we'll be too busy. So I'm finishing my coffee. I've got my new active on. Wait, let me show you the back. This camera captures everything so wide. Like, that's the back of my door. And you wouldn't be able to see it if you were just standing there. It's so weird. And this here <laughs> is my desk, my computer screen. Anyway, it's so strange. But look at the back of this top. I love it. I'm going for, like, white and black today. I kind of feel like a referee. <laughs> Also, I'm 100% buying new flowers because what the fuck is this shit? What? And I need to buy some more candles. Oh, I've got so many, so many things to do. And it's Saturday, which is cool because yesterday felt like Saturday. So today feels like Sunday. And I'm going to edit the vlog from last week. Anyway, I'll see you after the gym. I just noticed I'm getting a pimple here. And you can't see it. Like, I can't even see it in the mirror. But it's so painful. Like, I, like, ran my hand over my face. I was like... Ow. And now I'm like, fuck, what do I do? I want to kind of squeeze it and try to get it out. Don't touch it, Adele. <laughs> I'll see you after the gym. I have finished the gym. I walked Franklin and I had breakfast. Let's show you guys what's going on in this house. So my mum actually made banana bread. I've asked her to send me the recipe because this banana bread recipe is by far the best. You know, when we went into lockdown, Everyone went through like that banana bread phase. I made so many banana breads and my mum's recipe was the best. So I'll put that in the notes. I'm just gonna um, wait for her to message it to me. And I'm gonna have a shower. It's 11 a.m. I'm taking my time today. <sighs> I am a little bit, you know, slow, I think from the donation yesterday, which is fun. I took some iron tablets today just to kind of boost my hemoglobin again. Um, and I'll make sure that I get some nice iron rich foods. I've done my makeup. I'm about to put on some mascara. Um, my lips are still really dry guys. And they're annoying me. Anyway, I'm gonna run some errands today. I'm gonna take you with me because yeah, I'm having like a bit of a chill day. I'm not washing my sheets today. I did wash my hair yesterday. Um, and so I think I might wash my sheets on Monday. I think so. I'm out running errands today, guys. It is hot. What the hell? Melbourne in bloody autumn, hot. What's going on? Anyway, I just came to IGA because <laughs> these face wipes, yes, I bought three, are my favorite. Um, some of you will be like, why are you buying face wipes? I'll let you in on a little secret and any of my friends, one of my friends has like a skincare company and a, a skincare like st store, Lauren, the one who does my Botox. Um, when I go to like take off my makeup over night time and get in the shower, I take majority of my makeup, makeup off with a face wipe. And these ones are elite. They're whispers. <laughs> anyway, don't come for me for using a makeup wipe. I then properly cleanse my face. But I take the bulk off, especially my eyelashes. I hate, I actually hate putting mascara all over my face. What for? No, I'll take the, I'll take it off my lashes properly and then I wash my face. Anyway, I came to get that. And now I need to go get a um, new bunch of flowers because the ones in my room are so floppy. <laughs> sunflowers for my bedroom. What the hell? I have not seen a beautiful bunch of sunflowers like this at the florist in a long time so when I saw them I was instantly drawn to them and I love sunflowers it's actually quite interesting because my ex um, bought me sunflowers and he just like tarnished them for me and then today when I saw them and I didn't feel sick I was like wow I've made some progress so really happy about that guys and then I found a shop that is like it's like a chocolate lolly candy store and they have snacks from all over the world and I bought a packet of Takis. I hope I'm saying that right. Takis, I think I am. These, I've seen these on the internet for a long, long time. So we'll do a review probably on TikTok. But oh, what a success. I got food and I got flowers. Happy. Guys, look how much better it looks. Oh my God. Absolutely stunning. I am going to say though, there's a flower in here. I think it might be these ones. They smell really strong. So I don't know how I'm going to go sleeping that close to them. But... Oh, 
so much better. Guys, we just filmed a review on um, TikTok. I had mom and dad in it. They've just left the house. I don't know if anyone, if you guys have seen this, especially in Australia, we don't really usually have them here. They are tortilla chips. These are chili pepper and lime and they're extreme. I love spice, so I was like, I've got to buy them. They were $11. I paid $11. But if you want something similar, the veggie snaps from Thins that I posted about on TikTok, chili and lime, are very, very close. That's what they look like. I like them. I'm washing it down with an Easter egg. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I just posted my giveaway on um, Instagram for 5K on YouTube. My giveaway, the way I run it, is I don't ask you to tag anyone. Um, sorry, Franklin's drinking his water. <laughs> I don't ask you to tag anyone, I just ask you to leave a comment, like your favorite emoji. And the reason I do that is the same reason that I say that you can tag me in your giveaways. Like if you want to enter and you need to tag a friend, um, I put up a video saying you can tag me as many times as you like, I don't care. My notifications go crazy anyway, I don't care. Tag me as much as you want. Um, but the reason I, I do that is because I know what it's like to like not have many friends to tag, right? And so if I take the pressure off you by just leaving a comment, how much better is that? And two, likewise, when you're tagging your friendship group, I don't find it annoying. Annoy me all you like. I, I want you to win. We have, we have an addiction to Japanese, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we eat it every week. Yum. I also did the salt on the edamame and it's delicious. I just had a shower, guys. It is currently 10 p.m. I've posted my daily vlog to TikTok and I've just finished editing the weekly vlog. I actually don't mind doing it on a Saturday. I got a bit quick. I'm getting a bit quicker as the weeks go on. The editing does take me a little while because I'm not a professional. But I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I am going to get to bed. Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. We're about to head out for a family walk. Mom and dad are coming. The Easter bunny came. I was happy about that. 29 years old, love myself an Easter hunt. Franklin, are you excited? We ready? The whole family's ready, come on. Say happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Dad? I'm coming, happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. All right, we'll be back. From the walk. Did you have fun, Mr. Dad? We are gonna make pancakes, guys. I'm so excited. So this recipe is my mum's recipe. It will be put on my TikTok. If you want to know it, go and find it. Um, I love pancakes. And like I said last week, I'm a sweet breakfast person. So this is probably the only other variation that I'll have on like, I don't know, a long weekend or like a holiday or something. I can't wait to show you the finished product. They're so fluffy and they're so easy. They're so easy. And I know that like that store bought stuff in the like carton from Pancake Parlor or whatever um, is easy too, but this is not that much extra work. So I'll show you the finished product. Hey, the first batch of pancakes. We had a little mishap with this one here, the little cutie, but I'm still gonna eat it because it will taste delicious. <laughs> Mum's not happy with it. Pancakes are done. These little baby ones are for Franklin. I'm not putting it on TikTok. I, I trust the YouTube family. Yes, he's a dog and whatever, but he deserves a little treat. So we're gonna give him these cute little baby ones. We did put a tiny bit of ice cream and some little strawberries on there for him. Oh my God, he does <laughs> Didn't even chew it, he just inhaled it. And now we're gonna dig in. We have two ice creams because one's about to empty. Yum! And I'm ready, guys. We are going to my nonna's for lunch, my mum's mum. Dad is there. Dad, show us your outfit. <laughs> Where, where's your top from? My top 
I buy my tops from Myers. I actually go to Myers. Oh, fantastic. Down in Northlands. Yeah. There's a certain outlet there, and because I've got broad shoulders and the stomach is growing, I go there because the tops are fit nicely. You look handsome. You look handsome. And, and what about your shorts? they from Just Jeans. Oh, beautiful. Guys, my dress is from Petal and Pump. Um, Mum, are you going to come do a fit check? Honey! Carla's in the shower. She just got home. Show us your outfit for Easter lunch. Beautiful. Where's your dress from? Forever new. Stunning. Show me Nicholas, honey, because I like that. Stunning. She's got some white little sneakers on. Franklin's come in as well. Beautiful. Well, we'll wait until Carla's out and she can also give us a fit check. That is now ready. Carla, we, we do the fit check in the kitchen because the light is a lot better. Hello. I got my vest from the salvos, my shirt from the salvos, <laughs> my jeans from mom's cupboard and my boots from the boot shop. <laughs> Carla is a thrift, a thrift shopper, isn't that right? Yes. Why do you like thrift shopping? Because it helps um, reduce the waste into the environment and why not reuse? Yeah. It's better. We mom. love a sustainable queen. Yes. Oh, guys, I have not been very good on my vlog today. <laughs> on my YouTube camera because I was at my nonna and nonna's house all day and I even had a nap because <laughs> I was in a food coma and it was so good. It was so good. I napped for like two hours on the couch there. Um, and so we just got home at about, I don't know, 7 p.m. about an hour ago and I was just sitting down. I made a couple of TikToks. I saw, and I posted a TikTok about this, I saw a girl she has about 70,000 followers. She posted a video about going for a run. Also, I finally wore this bracelet today. It's the one from Aurora & Co. And it matches the choker. I love both of those pieces. Um, and she posted a video going for a run because she ate too much chocolate. Now, I know that holidays or events, birthdays, Christmases, weddings, um, friends parties, like any type of occasion where you are around more food than usual and potentially eating more food than usual I know it can be so confronting and I know that it can be overwhelming especially if you have a difficult relationship with food um, and so I put out a post I don't know I don't know why I just felt like I had to do it because I was like if there are videos out there of people still thinking that they have to go for runs because they ate too much chocolate then I just want to remind you that it's okay to do that. It's okay to indulge on those days. Like those days are usually few and far between. I can count on my hand the number of, I'm trying to get this necklace off, the number of holidays that I might overeat. It's usually that period between Christmas and New Year's, that um, Easter weekend, my birthday, um, any of my family's birthdays, just depends. Um, and one day, or a couple of days, um, eating extra food or eating chocolate is not going to make you, one, put on an exorbitant amount of weight, but two, feeling guilty for that, all it does is make you feel bad and make you feel worse about it, when in reality, you are actually allowed to enjoy it. And I know that diet culture is really toxic, and I know that, as I said, if you've got a difficult relationship with food, it can be hard to see that you are actually allowed to allowed to eat and allowed to enjoy it and just enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. But I just want to put that out there and I will say if you are struggling, obviously always get professional help. But yeah, it just caught me off guard to see that because I was like, oh my goodness. For a long time I suffered with, you know, Christmases, Easters, not wanting to eat the food that my family had put out. Um, and now I'm at a point where I'm like, oh yeah, like we had pancakes for breakfast and then we had a massive lunch um, with like chicken, seafood, bread. I ate so much cheese, so much salami. I ate way more, way more, I ate way more food today than I would ever eat in probably like two days. And you know what? It's one day. It's one day. And I'm not going to go smash myself in the gym tomorrow or, um, you know, overexert myself to burn it off. You are allowed to just enjoy the day. And, and overindulge. You're allowed to. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. 
I just wanted to remind you of that. I love you. Guys, I can't get this off. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a shower and then get into bed. And now I'm ready for bed. I picked my pimple, guys. Ouch, I put that Mario Badescu drying lotion on it. <laughs> I wanna get those pimple stickers. Um, that's on my to buy list. I also picked my giveaway winners today, which I'm so excited for. Oh, guys, it's raining so bad this morning. Shit. I'm about to go to the gym. It's Easter Monday. I've woken up in like a terrible mood. A terrible mood. I got some like really horrible comments on some of my videos yesterday. Um, and I try not to let it get to me. I try not to let it get to me. But yeah, I just think if people don't like something, fucking don't follow me. Don't comment. Just be a better person. I don't understand. Anyway, I've woken up in a foul mood, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to try and turn my day around. I also feel like shit because my hair is dirty. I need to wash that. And I have a really bad rash on my back and I don't know how I got it. And I put some cream on it and I'm hoping it goes away, but I'm in a fucking t-shirt and I never wear a t-shirt ever because I don't like it. And so I just feel yuck. I feel really yuck. Anyway, I'm going to go to the gym because that always makes me feel better. It better make me feel better. I'm going to have to walk on the treadmill as well. I cannot do a happy dance or a walk in this weather. Oh, guys, I'll feel better after the gym. And I'm done. Workout is done. Oh, someone's getting out of the car beside me. Anyway, I am feeling a lot better. I tried to walk on the treadmill because it's like raining. You can see that. And um, there was too many people up there and I was getting claustrophobic. So I'm actually going to walk in the rain. I'm going to take my umbrella. I'm not taking Franklin. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to eat because I feel like I'm starting to get hungry. But the good thing about eating as much food as I did yesterday was I started a new program today. And I got through it relatively easy because I had a lot of energy. So... Happy with that, and I'm happy with the endorphins. I'm kind of feeling less. Ugh. Oh. I'm at the laundromat. I ate breakfast. I also went for a walk. I went by myself in the rain, and I just took off my bed sheets. <laughs> Franklin did not want to get off my bed, and I didn't even want to get him off because he was so comfortable, and I had to take them off to change my sheets. So I'm going to go pop them in the laundromat now. This is my little laundry card, by the way. So you put money on there and then that's how you pay. Or you can pay as you go, but it works out cheaper if you do this. So I'm all about efficiency. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go put those in and then go home, shower, come back, put them in the dryer. Actually, no. I'm going to go across the road and do some groceries because I had I had my breakfast this morning without strawberries. It was still good. It was still good, but the strawberries provide just another element. My stuff is in the dryer now and I've got about an hour and 10 minutes until it's ready. So I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to curl my hair today and then I am going to, what am I doing? What am I doing today? I need to run some errands. I've actually cracked my screen protector on my phone. I don't know if you guys can see the little crack. You probably can't. It's like a hairline crack. Um, and so I'm going to go get a new one because Whenever I have cracked my screen like that, the projector, my real screen cracks very quickly. So I want to fix that. And I also want to get a poke bowl for lunch. And yeah, it's miserable weather today. So I might be watching Netflix. I just get out of the shower. My sister's gone. My mum and dad are gone. They have all gone away. <laughs> okay. So I've got the whole house to myself, guys. Yeah. Some peace and quiet. That's actually really nice. I love my family so much, but I also do love having my own space. So, happy, happy days. I'm ready for the day, guys. I've got the camera up quite high. Anyway, I've got a top on from Glassons, and then I've got jeans on, also from Glassons. I just had to take Franklin to the bathroom. It is pissing down rain, and I literally had to stand there with an umbrella, and all my back got wet. Oh, I didn't want you to see the rash. The rash is disgusting. I don't know what it is. It's not itchy. It's not painful. It's just gross. I feel like 
I've had a reaction to something. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I put like antibacterial, antiseptic cream on it um, and it has gone down, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go pick up my sheets from the dryer, get a poke bowl, get a new glass cover for my phone and finalize the last bit of the giveaway. I'm so excited. I just ate <laughs> the poke. I also collected my items when I was shopping. I got a screen protector, which you know what? We should put that on. We should do that right now. I bought some hot cross buns too. And I also got, what else did I get? Um, oh, that's it. And the poke bowl. But guys, I just posted this to TikTok and so many of you are like, you can go to those little stores in the middle of the shopping center. They're only $20 because this was $50. And they're only $20 and they'll do it for you. I've done that before and it has lasted literally like 24 hours on my phone. This screen protector I've had on since I'm going to say January. And that's roughly about how long I can get out of them because I literally drop my phone on a daily basis, guys. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm the clumsiest bitch. I'm the clumsiest bitch. <gasps> Look at me throwing that. Stop. Okay. I always get nervous when I'm doing this. Let's take the old one off. Wow, I can't even get the old one off. Oh, I'm getting there. Oh. That was some ASMR. Can you see the crack? Now you can see it. Oh my goodness. This case is so hard to get on and off. By the way, it's a Pelican case and it is phenomenal at protecting my phone. But <gasps> don't drop the phone. Why am I filming this? There's my phone looking still beautiful. Now I can clean it properly because, guys, I couldn't clean it properly with the case on it. I should have asked the girl at JB Hi-Fi to do this for me because I am not qualified. I'm literally sweating about to do this. I actually did a bloody brilliant job. Let me just get the air bubbles out and then I'll show you. Guys! Who needs to go to those people in the middle of the shopping centre? She's got it under control. She's got it under control. I have also just finished packing up the giveaway prizes. So this time, Maddie won, Jordan won, and Nicole won. So by the time you watch this, you should have gotten your packages. I'm gonna express post them tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and you should definitely get them by Wednesday, Thursday, the latest. I'm so excited and I can't wait for you guys to get them. Anyway, thank you so much if you entered. If you missed out, please don't panic because I love doing giveaways. Like if you've noticed, I, I do them all the time <laughs> because I love giving back to you. And I also love gift giving. Um, I think that's one of my love languages. It definitely is. <laughs> so there'll be more, trust me. And the bed is made guys, but I sustained an injury. Ouch. I cut my finger because I lifted up the bed or I tucked it under the sheet. I don't know. And then I saw blood all over my hand. I'm like, shit, thank God I didn't get any on the bed. But thank God that's over. Now I'm going to go watch Netflix. Now I'm doing nothing. Nothing. I'm going to do an AMA because it's Monday. But I'm just going to say that we're going to do it tomorrow and Tuesday instead because... I really am feeling better from this morning, but I still don't have like enough energy for anyone else at the moment. So I'm going to conserve my energy and hopefully I'll be fine tomorrow. But yeah, I don't think people will care because it's a public holiday. So let's go watch Bridgerton. Guys, <laughs> I just took Franklin outside. We've been watching Bridgerton all night. He comes back inside. He starts playing with something. I'm like, what the fuck? He's playing with a fucking spider. I'm home by myself. I just fucking killed it. Why did you have to do that? Huh? Why did you have to do that? <laughs> Why? Why? Love you. Guys, what the hell? What the hell? It's 1am. <laughs> I've not stopped watching Bridgerton. What the hell, Adele? Go to bed. I'm up to episode seven and eight i have two left i was gonna keep going and i'm like no nah. i'm tired holy shit it's so good 
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Good morning. It's 8 a.m. Oh well, I'm on holidays, so I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna go to the gym though. That will bring me some energy. And then I'm gonna go to the post office because I wanna post my giveaways. Um yeah, what the hell? What the hell? I'm gonna watch the rest of season two today because it is raining. It is perfect weather for that. <laughs> I'm at the gym. I put on the new Coco bralette and I put it on with the old leggings that I have. And they look so nice together. Anyway, it's bloody cold today. So that's why I've got this jacket on. But um, after this, I'm going to go to the post office. I've not trained at... It's 8.45. I've not trained at this time ever on a weekday. It looks pretty dead from the car park. I'm hoping most people are back at work. Fingers crossed. Also, look at this miserable weather. I don't know if you can see. It's raining. Anyway, I'll see you after my workout. Workout is done. Guys, I'm going to go post these giveaway prizes. And I'm just making some breakfast. I don't really like these strawberries. Anyway, <laughs> I get a comment on one of my TikTok videos saying, you do the same thing every day. Have you ever thought about changing it up? Now, naturally, when you vlog, unless you're like, I don't know, a celebrity, I reckon even celebrities have routine. You're gonna have, the th you're gonna have things in your life that are the same, right? For me, yes. It is, I'm sorry, I'm just feeding Franklin um, strawberries. For me, it is, if I like a food, I like a food. If I like, you know, a product, I like a product. You know about it. Um, did I just cut my finger with the knife? I didn't. Anyway, what I want to say to that is, sorry, let me take a look off. There's literally nothing wrong with routine and nothing wrong with doing the same thing especially if you like it. <laughs> really, do whatever the fuck you want. I do whatever the fuck I want and you should do whatever you want. But secondly, routine and habit and structure for things that you enjoy, not things that you don't enjoy, are actually proven to be better for you physically, mentally, stress-wise, emotionally. You know why? Because it creates safety it creates you or your body the chance to relax because you're not expecting danger mentally. Our, body do, our bodies and our brains like to keep us comfortable. So when we have a routine or structure that works for us, you can function in the most like optimal way. Now, routine, when it comes to something that you dislike, that doesn't serve you and it feels gross. So when you have things that you like, it's the total opposite of that. And that's where I'm at. And I have always been a creature of habit, always. Um, and I think obviously now because I have, you know, a community, there are always going to be people that I trigger or disagree with me or just want to hate for the fucking sake of it. But if there's one thing I hope that you can take from like anything that I do, it's just do what makes you happy. Always. And fuck what people think. A nice hot shower. Also, <laughs> it is perfect weather for Netflix and nothing. But I did say to myself, have a shower first. Even though I'm going to be doing nothing today, I'm going to also have a makeup free day. Um, I think my sister just came home. Look who's home! Franklin has really bonded with everyone in the house. <laughs> I just finished Bridget's and Thighs. By the way, this is my fit today. It's like a really cold couch rainy day. Um, and I have no interest in wearing makeup. I want to give my skin a little bit of a break because I wore makeup obviously all weekend for Easter stuff. Um, I just finished season two of Bridgerton and I loved it. I wish I was born in that era. Little pretty girls and just the courting. I think it's... I don't know. Um, I just, yeah, I liked it. I like season two more than season one. I got Uber Eats to make a TikTok with it first and then I will show you why I ordered it today. The reason I got it was <laughs> to shake it so that the dressing gets evenly distributed. Someone commented this on my TikTok. Guys, look at this. It actually distributes the dressing 
the whole salad. It mixes it for you. The ratios, are, oh, I'm actually so happy. Thank you so much to whoever suggested this because you have honestly changed my life. We did a AMA tonight on Insta. I also did a TikTok live, so thank you if you joined me. Morning, guys. We actually had a sleep in today. We're about to go for a walk. Frank, where are you? Show everyone your jumper. We're matching. Look at my leggings and look at his jumper. It's really cold today. It's really cold today. He's shaking. It's okay. We'll warm up on the walk. All right, guys. I'll see you when we get back. What an eventful morning. I just had a shower. And yes, I've got my shower cap on. <laughs> I'm eating my breakfast and I hear my sister scream, oh no, and I run outside and I'm like, what the hell, like, are you alright? She's like, I've just locked my keys in my car. She doesn't have a spare set of keys. She fucking locked her keys in the car. She was going to work. She was frazzled. She's like, I'm going to smash a window. I'm going to smash a window. I was like, absolutely not. I said, take my car, drive safely, Have take a breath, leave it with me. And so I just called five locksmiths five and one of them rob is coming so i'll let you know how that goes i'm going to quickly get ready because when she comes back i do need to go out we're going mum and i got invited to an event on saturday which i'm like really excited about it's my second like event that i've been invited to as like a content creator which the last one i went to was the she's on the money one which I have listened to She's on the Money for such a long time and I've been in that like Facebook community and I felt more like, I don't know, like I just was there because like I loved it as well. Um, and it was a little bit different in the sense that like there were speakers and I did go by myself and I didn't really feel like scared or overwhelmed, but I'm feeling very scared or overwhelmed because like I haven't used this brand before um, and it's like a secret product launch and I don't know, I just, I get very overwhelmed at those things because one, I have like this crazy social anxiety now since like COVID and lockdowns and two, I don't know, I just think I'm a real like introvert at heart, even though I have no problems putting myself out, you would see I spend a lot of time by myself um, and so I'm a bit nervous. Anyway, the dress code is like peach, yellow, white or like nude, I think. And like, I don't have anything. The only yellow thing I have is this dress, which is like not appropriate, not appropriate, <laughs> cute, but not appropriate. So I want to go shopping later. Um, my mum should be home today too. And mum's coming with me. I got a plus one and they were like, who do you want to bring? I said, can I bring my mum? <laughs> uh, I think I'll always take my mum because I just love her. And I don't know, I feel safe when I'm with her <laughs> anyway. I will let you know what happens with the locksmith and hopefully my sister comes back with my car. Yeah. The locksmith got the keys out guys and now mum and dad are back. They're back from the beach. So we are going to go shopping. Here's my fit. I have a really sore stomach. It's like a knot in my belly button. Does anyone else get that? It's really annoying. Anyway, I'm excited. I hope that we can find an outfit for the weekend. I'll keep you posted. I'm actually going to bring the camera in there because usually it's quiet. So fingers crossed. My camera is going to die. We went to dress hire in Eltham, which is usually pretty good. Um, anyway, it was fucking packed, like to the point where <laughs> we waited how long to try on two dresses? What time is it? Four o'clock. Okay, so yeah, two hours. And we, we got nothing. We got nothing. We're going to hire a dress or dresses for the event because, as I said, the colour scheme. But oh, a bug just flew in my eye. Is there a bug on my eye? Show me Oh no! How can I see it? Look at one. I can't see open it! <laughs> what the? That was fucked. Okay, so even though shopping was a fail, two amazing things happened today and I'm so excited to tell you guys because I love sharing exciting news and one thing I need to check if I can tell you or not. Um, regardless, that thing is happening in two weeks so you'll know soon. But Jazz Handmade who is a brand that I love and adore, and you would have known for a long time if you followed me, especially from the start, um, that I have loved their, their items and their pieces, want me to be sponsored by them. <laughs> Similar to my setup with Muscle Nation, which means we haven't finalized it yet. I'm hoping to sort it like 
before the end of the week, before the vlog goes live. But my code will become an affiliate code, which means very similar to Muscle Nation. When you do an order, you use my code, you save money, and then I get paid from Jazz Handmade. That rhymes. But ah, that's so exciting to me because I personally love my setup with Muscle Nation because very similar, I was a customer for fucking years, 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 right? And I would buy their activewear every launch, every collection, and... Yeah, so to have the same thing happening with a company that I love, like I'm wearing the earrings right now. Um, and we had been in discussion about updating my code, which they updated for me on Monday. And then Jazz, who I absolutely adore and follow and have loved her for a very long time, was like, how would you feel about us sponsoring you? And I was like, love that. I would love that. So ah, guys, I'm really excited. The other thing, I, can't, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you, but... Something that is on like my dream wish list is happening in two weeks. <laughs> it hasn't even hit me yet. It hasn't even hit me yet, but I cannot wait to tell you. <sighs> Marcus, guys, we got a family pack. Look at that. You know it's cheaper to get a family pack. I told you, Bobby. Should we get a pack, family pack instead of buying everyone individual meals? We just figured that out last week. <laughs> I figured it out again today. <laughs> good morning. Me and Franklin say good morning. <laughs> I had the best sleep last night. I didn't have any crazy dreams and I actually... <gasps> no, don't drink my coffee. I didn't have any crazy dreams and I actually have a huge to-do list today. I wrote it down on my notes app because I was feeling quite overwhelmed. Um, come here. I was feeling quite overwhelmed and um, that just made me feel like, oh, you know what? I can slowly tick things off. I can slowly tick things off. But first up, I'm going to go to the gym. And then when I get home, I'm going to walk you. Look how cute you are. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys after the gym. Before I go to the gym, I want to show you my active wear. I got this yesterday, guys. I... So... Obviously, yes, I'm sponsored by Muscle Nation and when there's a launch, I get, I think, nine or ten items gifted to me and I'm also allowed to buy more if I want. <laughs> and so I bought more. I bought more. I used my own code and I'm so glad I got this because the colour, the camera is really not doing it justice, but it's like this beautiful coral colour. And obviously I've got the jacket on just because it's um, cold. But in the gym I love it I'm gonna finish my coffee and I really will see you after the workout all right now I'm ready I've had a shower I am dressed I need to go do a couple of things before I film some content I'm filming content for shop back today and then I'm also filming my next YouTube video so it's a busy day but I'm excited um what am I gonna say what was I gonna say I can't remember what I was gonna say anyway I'm gonna go buy what I need to buy and I'll show you it's for the ad and you'll see the ad before this TikTok, which I'm excited about. Um, I just had this idea in the shower and I'm like, I've got to do it. So that's what I'm running with. But um, let's go. Guys, I just had to film my content for Shop Back, which is actually going live tonight. It got approved. However, the first round that I did, I, <laughs> I had to redo it basically. The content was okay, but certain things that I had shown on the screen weren't correct and it'll make sense once you see the ad anyway so i had to refilm it and between filming the first one and the second one i ate the donut and so i had to go back and get a second donut and this will make sense if you saw the ad so go and look for it on my tiktok if you haven't seen it already but um on my way back getting the second donut i fucking drop it on the ground <laughs> and people see me drop it on the ground and i pick it up put it back in the bag i'm like i'm not actually eating it i'm not actually eating it and they were like this girl's crazy. Anyway, it was really funny and shot back like the ad, so that's a bonus for me. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to film my other YouTube video, so I'll be right back. Oh, guys, it's done. I did it. I just filmed a journaling beginner video. We are making dinner, guys. We're having basically steak and veg. I'm on vegetable duty. You know what? I never used to like vegetables as a kid. I used to be yelled at to finish them. 
And now I like them. I never used to like vegetables, did I? I used to literally hate them. And now I'm like, oh, I don't mind them. I guess that's how you know I'm getting old. <laughs> We are trying the Takis with the tzatziki. Someone recommended it on um, TikTok. What do we think, Carla? Mm, I like the lemon, the lemon lime. The tanginess? Mm. Yeah. Mum? Yeah, same. Dad? I had one and my mouth is still burning. This one was <laughs> hotter than the first one. <laughs> Ooh. They're delicious. Can I have one? Ooh. They're nice, but- I love them. Too hot for me. They're in my- oh, They're good fuck. with tzatziki. It was inside. They're not. They're so weird. Where are they from? My mouth's still burning. That tzatziki did nothing. Where'd you get these from? The shop at um, Westfield Sweetbox. They cost me $11. I know. <laughs> They're hot. I $11 want to go another one. They're, they're from... Um, well, I don't think we need more tzatziki. What do you call it? They're from America. Oh. So that they're like imported. Mm. I don't like hot Here we stuff. go. Look at Franklin. He's like, what about me? No, there's no tzatziki. I need more tzatziki. Because <laughs> it did cool it down. Oh, The last Frank, one I just had, have this. inside this roll, it was full of pepper. What's that? I'm going to eat one without tzatziki. They're cute. They're tortillas. Take away the spice, there's a nice <laughs> flavour there I like. It's a lime, Dad. I want to keep, is it, no, inside. It is a lime. It's the lime. It's inside a lime. this. It's a tangy, yeah. yeah. Ooh, you need one. more tzatziki, Dad. That's not going to help it either. I can't believe you're eating it again. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You must be hungry. No. Look at all that. It's a nice crunch. We're waiting for it. It's got a kick. Oh, yeah, it's got a kick. <laughs> it's got a kick. <laughs> Look at mum, mum's got it down pat. I know what I'm doing. Show us mum, delish. Dad? Another one? It's on my threshold. I'll have another one, but it's on my threshold. I can't believe you're eating them. It's really burning the back of my throat. <laughs> and he's having another one, what the hell? Because they are nice. <laughs> Don't let Franklin lick your fingers. No. This is like extra hot, this one. I can I'm about to have a shower, guys. I went and bought this today. I don't think I showed you on here. I showed it on my TikTok for my lips because they are still so cracked and disgusting. I look disgusting. <laughs> I'll be back with a fresh face and this on my lips. Hopefully it fixes them. Okay, so I've put on the Dermal Therapy Lip Balm. Um, it's burning. <laughs> Is it meant to burn? Can someone please tell me if it's meant to burn, guys? I don't think it was an allergic reaction last week. You know how last week I was like, I'm having an allergic reaction? I think it was just the cold weather. Anyway, I'm going to go to Sephora and Mecca tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to Chadston with mum. And some of you have recommended a Laneige, Laneige, I don't know how to say it, lip mask. And there are a few other ones which I want to try and get. So I'm going to trial everything because at this point, it actually hurts me to smile. Like, that hurts. My lips feel like they're going to split open and bleed. So hopefully this works overnight. I'm going to put even more on. All right, I'm going to do my daily vlog for TikTok. Really at the epitome of comfort. <laughs> I've got my hair net on. I'm putting on more lip balm. Oh, fuck it burns. And I got my retainer in. Love you guys. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Come here. Oh. Come here. Love you. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Hi, I'm obsessed with you. We had a sleep in at 7.30. I'm going to go to the gym and then I'll take him for a W-A-L-K. After that. So we are going to Chadston. Got mum with me. Mum actually has an outfit for tomorrow. She found a dress in her wardrobe that fits the colour scheme. I don't have anything appropriate to wear to it that fits the color scheme so fingers crossed and I also want to find something to wear for Easter are we doing something yeah what are we doing we're going to yo-yos oh there Lunch. we go there we go well wish us luck bye we got back from Chadston guys I'm going to do an unboxing on TikTok but I went to Zara Peter Alexander and Sephora and mum, where did you go? Sp uh, sports girl. 
Yay! <laughs> and we have our outfits for tomorrow. So you will have you will see our outfits by the time this vlog goes live. But are you excited for tomorrow, Mum? I am very excited. Thank Yay. you for today. You're welcome. I just filmed a Chadston unboxing and a Jazz Handmade um, unboxing as well. And now I'm making some potatoes. Guys, I am really, really grateful and so excited about potentially being sponsored by Jazz. We haven't um, come to like any kind of agreement yet, so that's why I didn't kind of say in my TikTok that it was an affiliate link because it's not right now. So once it is affiliate, I will definitely let you know. Um, but for the time being, the code I have will just save you some money and the stuff I got from Jazz was gifted. So yeah. You would have seen this on my TikTok already. You would have watched my TikTok already. But I got two necklaces from her. And she's so sweet. She sent me. She didn't have to do this. She sent me like a jewelry stand. Which is just beautiful because I have a lot of necklaces. Literally 90% of them from Jazz Handmade. And I'm just so grateful. And I'm really grateful to you guys. I did say this in my video on TikTok. But without you, stuff like this wouldn't happen. And... It just reinforces to me that when you support a brand or when you really love a brand and they see that as well, they will want to work with you too. And then it just reinstates for you guys, hopefully, that you can see that I'm only going to be working with brands that I genuinely love, would buy from or have bought from, um, and I will continue to be picky. Um, and I spoke about it a little bit when I did like my Ask Me Anything on Tuesday this week on my Instagram because a few of you were asking me if I would give up my full-time job to pursue content and while I am so grateful so grateful for like additional gifts or income from YouTube affiliate links or like brand deals um, it's still way less than what I would earn at my full-time job which I'm really grateful for I have a very good full-time job um, but secondly having that as like a side hustle I'm going to call it helps me still be picky and helps me not rely solely on brand deals for income and I see it I see content creators I see influencers who go down that path and the more brand deals they do the more money they make and I get it you hustle I'm all for you hustling go for it I don't I don't mind how you make your money right but for me the trust that I have with you guys means more to me than money and for that reason I'm not going to pick easy brand deals or say yes to everyone or work with companies that I don't like, don't trust, wouldn't actually buy myself. Um, and I think that's like just longevity because I, I don't want to think short term. Like I want to think longevity. I want you to trust me for years. I want you to trust me forever. And I would never do anything to betray that trust. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know. As I said, once I know more, I will let you know what's going on. But really exciting anyway. Thank you, Jazz. And thank you, you guys. I am going to head back and finish cooking dinner. We've got Good Friday today with the Orthodox <laughs> side of my family. So my dad is Greek Orthodox. And we are celebrating Easter this weekend, which is exciting. Because my whole life, I have always gotten two Easter's, which I think is cool. Double the chocolate, guys. Guys, I'm at the GP. <laughs> I've come to get my lips checked because I don't know if you can see it on camera it's not it's not okay I'm not okay I'm not okay all right all right I'll let you know how I go well that was embarrassing you know why because the doctor's like it's just dry cracked lips it's just dry cracked lips Adele I'm not worried about it I can't believe I went to the doctor over that. I had to do it. My mum freaked me out today. Anyway, it looks like I'll go home, put some more lip balm, and put that Laneige sleeping mask on, and hope that it fucking works. Ah! All right, now i got to rush home because it's Good Friday dinner. This is our dinner tonight, guys. A whole ass fish. <laughs> and here are the potatoes that came out so good. I'm eating cold because I was at the doctor. But um, let's dig in. And now, guys, the apple crumble that we have made. Mum made apple crumble for dessert. It is ready. Look at this. What? And of course, we are going to serve it with Peter's ice cream, which is the best vanilla ice cream. We just ate the apple crumble, guys, and I was going to post it to TikTok. I filmed it. You can see it here. However, the recipe was not perfect. 
Oh, it was nice. It was good, but we didn't we didn't pre-cook the apples before we put them in, and so the apples were a bit firm. I think maybe we cut them too big, or they need to be smaller, or it needs to be cooked for longer. So I'll perfect it, and then we can post the recipe another time. But it was still good. It went down a treat. What do we all rate it? Um, a nine because of the apples. I'd go eight. I'm going 8.5. Guys, it's bedtime. I have just finished editing the journaling video, which is going up tomorrow, which will be up before this one. And maybe you may have watched it, maybe you haven't. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I know it was a little bit different because I had leave, but um, I still don't go back to work until next Tuesday. So the start of the next vlog will have my dad's Easter and another day off, which I'm excited about. But I love you so much. I hope that you've had a great week and I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. Thank you for all the love and support this week. I really appreciate it. You guys have been incredible. Meeting you today at Chadston, getting so many beautiful messages and DMs and just seeing all the support, especially on my YouTube. I just am forever grateful and I will never stop telling you guys that. But I love you and as you can hear, I am very tired. So I'm gonna head to bed. I'm excited for tomorrow. You will see, you'll see the fits and everything from the event before, actually, yeah, you'll see it before you watch this. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. And as always, guys, stay safe. Please give this video a, why am I saying stay safe? I never say that. <laughs> I've lost it. I need to go to bed. I was just making sure my boob isn't it. <laughs> in the freaking vlog. Anyway, good night, angels. I love you so, so much. Big hugs. I will see you next week. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. And tell your friends about it. Tell, you, tell everyone about it. All right, bye. <laughs>